Hi, everybody. What's going on? You're watching The Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Look who we got here, Miguel and Duhar from the New York Yankees. How are you? Right. Got Sergio Mencia, his translator. Good to meet you. All right. Likewise. How's everybody doing? Everything's good, man. Yeah? Shoulder? Yeah. You all right? I feel better, yeah. All feel right. Better. Well, Sergio, appreciate you joining us today. No Why don't we wind it back here with Miguel? Let's go back to the Dominican Republic, starting to play baseball. How'd you first get into baseball? ¿Cómo empezaste a meterte en el béisbol? Yes, uh, when I'm young, you know, I'm playing my hometown and I'm playing uh, like in the street, you know, and one day I, my father see me in, in, in the house and I sit down in, in, in the silla. So I he sat down? Yeah, yeah, in the silla and, and he said to me, hey, we go to the, to the field, like, for play baseball, you know, and, and like a little league, and after that, I'm play baseball, like, my, I mean, for, I don't know, maybe 18 years, mm. something like that, yeah. So you were six? Yeah. Six? Yeah. Mm. I started play baseball when I was too young. Wow. Like in the hometown, yeah. So when did you realize you were good? Cuando tú te diste cuenta que tú eras bueno. I mean, you know, every time, like, I'm hitting good and play good in the hometown when I was like 10 years old. Mm. Yeah, I'm playing uh, in different hometown in Dominican. And when I was uh, 12 years old, I come here to play baseball too and represent Dominican Republic. And I go to Mexico when I was uh, 14 mm -hmm. to represent Dominican Republic. And <laughs> no, no, <baby>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Yeah. What What do you remember when you first came to America to play for the Dominican Republic at age 12? Que lo primero que tú recuerdas cuando viniste a a Estados Unidos a jugar a a los 12 años. Oh, lo primero que ah. No, no, pero dale. Whatever you. The first thing is when I see the airplane, I see a lot of lights, mm. todas toda las luces, o sea. A lot of lights. Yeah. And, When I come here, this is my first time playing in night, like mm. night game. Yeah, when I was young, I, it's fun, you know. It's good for me because I don't see that in Dominica. We have fear for playing the night game, but the, my first time playing the night game is here. And, uh, you know, play with different people, like here, like American kids and stuff like that. And I feel happy, you know, playing in different countries. Did you have a favorite team, favorite players growing up? Tenía algún jugador favorito, algún equipo favorito? Yeah, I was growing up, uh, Aaron Rodriguez. Mm. Yeah, there you go. That's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> y el equipo? <laughs> oh, the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Yankees, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. It, it makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all works out. So, when did the Yankees first come into the picture in terms of uh, signing you onto the team? ¿Cuándo fue la primera vez que los Yankees te vieron y se introducieron como en el... And he said, interesaron en ti. And you know, uh, when I was uh, 14 years old, my first tryout in Dominica is for the Yankees. Oh, wow. Yeah. And when I got the tryout, I go home super happy. I talk to my grandma because I live with my grandma mm -hmm. when I grow up. And I say, uh, the guy from the Yankees see me, and I'm super happy, you know. And after that, the Yankees look me a lot. Like, when the Yankees go to my hometown, San Cristobal, Look me a lot, like see me, take a video, and I go to the Yankees complex and do you. And after that, I'm signing when I was like 16 years mm -hmm. old in two or three months, something like that. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you're you're 24 now. You're yeah. 16. Like, there's been a long journey here. So, did you realize your life was about to change tremendously when you <coughs> signed that contract? Today, you realize that your life was about to change tremendously when you signed that contract? Oh, I mean, Not too much, you know, like, uh, it's not life. The language they send, the, the thing is, you know, uh, it's better, like, for me, for my family, we live better, and I enjoy, like, I enjoy that moment when I'm signing, and I like que la vida que cambió, o sea, cambió. Life changed. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's saying it didn't, you know, change, like, crazy but you know it did change they live comfortably now and yeah. that, he that makes a difference yeah. 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 yeah definitely 
So you go from the Dominican Republic to Florida for minor league baseball. What was most surprising about that experience? Uh, it's hard, you know, it's a little hard because the, when, the, when we are starting, it's hard because I'm not speaking English in that moment. Like, it's different because uh, different food, uh, you have to speak English, mm -hmm. like you don't know nothing, but, you know, in the end, you have to live here because here, the thing have the, the fear and stuff like that, everything for, for me, and I want to play in the village, you know, like, I have to be here, I have to, do like I need to adapt here. That he needed to adapt, mm -hmm. pretty much, because yeah. he wants to be a, he wanted to be a big right. league player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what about on the field? What were some of the difficulties in terms of having your game, game translate from the Dominican Republic to here in America? En el terreno, eh, como qué qué tan difícil fue eh, como transferir tu, o sea, transferirte de de Dominicana aquí en el en el terreno. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? I mean, for me, it's nothing different because the gang is the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, baseball is same everywhere. The thing is, you have to make adjustment like quick, like being more consistent every day. That's the biggest thing for, for the minor league guy, for making it to the big league. That's the biggest thing for me, like more consistent every day, like working hard, like practice hard every day, you know, and that's the biggest thing for go to the major league. So you want to be a professional baseball player since you were six. You get the... Sorry. You, know, you, you get to ser un, un jugador profesional desde los seis años. Tú sabías. I mean, when I play, when I'm young, I don't think, like, we're signing and stuff like that. You're just, you're just playing. Playing. Because, yeah. Yeah, everybody playing because uh, we love, you know, we love the, the baseball player. Now it's the different, you know, now it's different. Hmm. Everybody now signing because the baseball is more... They recall, el, El baseball and ahora es más. Como ajá, it's like he's saying like baseball now um, is different because it's like an industry now. Mm. Like you know, kids are like, oh, I want to sign and right, stuff like business. that. But before yeah. it was just like, oh, just we're just game. playing for yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you get the call from the Yankees, say, hey, Miguel, we want you to come to the big leagues. What do you remember about that day? Oh, man, it's awesome. Man. It's my dream come true. Like uh, I remember uh, the coach, the third base coach. Called me like uh, one day when I'm triple A, he called me uh, by 12 something p.m. He called me, he said, me, Hey, me, I know you're doing good. I clap you because you play good, everything is good. And I said, Thank you, thank you. I'm happy. When I go to triple A that day, I'm happy, you know. And uh, in the night, th that night, uh, the manager from triple A, he called me like 10 30 mm -hmm. uh, a.m. He called me and said, uh oh, what happened? And I, I grabbed the phone and say, hello. And he said, me, hey, congratulations, mm. you go to the building. And <laughs> man, he's happy. I'm not asleep that day. <laughs> 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 and call my family, my grandma, my father. And he said, I go to the building tomorrow. And I'm happy for, for that. You know, my dream come true. Your grandma must have been yeah, because, so out of her mind. Yeah, because I, I live with my grandma when. Like when I born, I lived with my grandma to the 17 years mm. old. Yeah. Yeah. She took care of you. Yeah. 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 So once you do come up, I mean, you had early success. 2017, 2018, you have this huge year. How did you make it happen there, there on the field? How did you get How did you get the job done? Como como tú, o sea, tú tuviste dos años buenos. Como como te hiciste tú pa pa básicamente meter mano. I mean, you know. Uh, Work hard, like you think work hard, like try to be more consistent every day, like uh, and you know, stay positive every time, every day and <laughs> 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 well, when you came to New York, did you sense the big expectations for the Yankees? Because it's we gotta win World Series, we gotta win right now. Did you realize that right away? Cuando llegaste a Nueva York, eh, tú te diste cuenta de las expectativas que habían contigo, porque en, en, esta es una ciudad que aquí hay que ganar campeonato y hay mucha presión. Eh, ¿Tú estabas como preparado para eso? Uh, you know what, for me, I don't think about that. Like, uh, I think play, do my job, do the best I can, and nothing too much. But 
on one play my f I remember one play my first game here in New York I see the fan and the lights like so so different mm. for, like everywhere and I don't think that like to m I don't put pressure on my mind because you know it's hard you know I I do my the best I can when the team give me the chance to play I I want to do the best I can you know that, that's it I don't put on pressure on my mind so your second in rookie of the year last year what was your favorite memory from that run because you had almost 30 home runs almost 100 RBIs what was the best moment for you from el that mejor, run? el mejor momento tuyo del año pasado porque tuviste segundo en las votaciones de novato del año cuál fue tu tu mejor momento eh, en el año uh, a lot a lot of good moments you know uh, the, I think for me the, the best moment is when we pass to the playoff mm -hmm. yeah this is the best moment for me and you guys were close too. Yeah, we were close. Yeah, definitely. So then you go into this year, you're feeling great, you hurt the shoulder. What do you remember about that moment? I mean, it's, it's hard, you know, it's, it's hard because I never have hurt like that and I'm prepared like too hard in Dominican and now come here for do the, for do my job and now have hurt and it's a little hard, you know, but and the in the end, you have to stay positive. I'm gonna stay positive and take my rehab and be healthy for the next year. What have you learned about baseball from just watching this year as opposed to playing? Que he aprendido del béisbol tú mirando desde afuera en vez de como está metido en el terreno todo el tiempo. I mean, uh, I learned a lot, like, uh, como mantenerme positivo, o sea, y Nada, eh, seguir este, los procesos de mi rehabilitación y nada, el año que viene venir ready. Just remain positive pretty much and just, you know, get his rehab and come ready for next year. So you're able to speak English well for only being in this country a little while. How did you learn to speak it? Some guys watch TV shows, you know, what did you do to learn English? Okay, ¿cómo tú aprendiste a hablar el idioma? You know, um, for the Yankees, the Yankees have an uh, English class mm -hmm. for the whole minor league guys. Like for whole minor league, come uh, on, for the whole for the whole, for the whole system, whole system, yeah, yeah, yeah. whole system minor league, and we have to take English class like one hour, like uh, Monday to Friday when we play. Oh, wow. Yeah, when we play in home, we have to take English class, and after uh, the team have a uh, like app. Uh, for the phone and you have to practice there like when we when we play in a row and I'm I'm learning English with the with the guy the American people mm. yeah and the team yeah it's awesome yeah. so who are some of your closest friends on the team Los amigos más cercanos tuyos del del equipo quiénes son How Gary mm -hmm. Severino George uh, I think uh, he gets along with everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a good squad. Yeah, yeah. yeah good guys, yeah. I have, I have uh, 18 years with the Yankees, mm -hmm. you know. I'm, I'm playing here, like, I don't play in Dominican, and I'm playing here. My, I don't play, like, in Summer League. I'm playing here, and I know a lot of people here. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So when you're not playing baseball, it's like you, Gary, the rest of the guys, what do you guys like to do for fun when you're away from baseball? Cuando no están jugando, ¿qué hacen para divertirse? Cuando no están jugando, ¿qué hacen? We got dinner, like we take dinner, we, you know, have fun with the family too. And yeah, they compra, they come, yeah, shopping, like shopping, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like to shop? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, what are the best spots to shop here in New York? ¿Cuáles son los sitios mejores aquí en Nueva York para comprar? Uh, here in downtown, we go downtown in Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, too, I live in Jersey. And okay. I go to the outlet. And yeah, I'm a Jersey guy too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, let's talk about some of the guys on the team. How about CC Sabathia? You know, older dude, but he's yeah. still doing it out there. Got the win yesterday. What's it like watching him? Yeah, he's a good dude, you know. CC is a really good guy. Um, every time uh, when we go to the clubhouse and we see everybody, I say, how you doing? You know, he's a good guy, good fun guy. Yeah. He's I'm, all of family. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've played with a lot of really talented baseball players. Aaron Judge is a big, yeah. strong dude. What's it like watching him day in and day out? I like I like the energy he have always. You know, he he strike him out. He got energy for, hey, go go. You got it. You know, it's it's good. He got energy in, in the field, out inside the field, and I mean, it's fun to watch this mm. guy. Yeah. 
And then Gary, I mean, he's got such a good bat. <laughs> Defensively, still putting some things together. How does he take the next step? I mean, I know Gary when I was like 14 years old, we sang in the same academy mm -hmm. in Dominican Republic. And I remember when I come here, my, when I come here for introduction league, my first year, uh, he, he see me, hey, how you doing? And, you know, we talk because we know in Dominican. And I love Gary, you know, he's my, he's my guy. Mm. And he he did good, I know. And he played good. I like, I like Gary. How about guy, yeah. yeah, that's definitely good. How about John Carlos Stanton? What do you oh. like about him? It's good. It's good. Yeah, he's quiet, but it's good. He's a quiet guy. Yeah, Doesn't like, like to talk. Yeah, he not talk too much. Mm. So it's good. Like he he say hello to everybody. He talking with everybody. But it's good dude too. So CC talks. Who else likes to talk on the team in the clubhouse? Uh, Didi, Graver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody. We got like good good teammates. Hmm. Yeah, that's why we, we got, like, a uh, good success in the field, you know, because we got a good team in the field and inside the field, too, like, good relation, yeah. How about Aaron Boone? What do you like about him in terms of his managerial style? It's good. Boone is good, you know. When, uh, he got, like, good relation with, with the guy and the team, too. When we go, when we practice, he, you know, he come to you, say, how you feel, and stuff like that. Hey, you you good? How's your body? And... That's what we need, you know, good relation for, for like, play like, relax, like, good, you know? Mm. Yeah. I'm sure you've been hearing it a lot. Do you think the Yankees can win it all this year? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? Because we have a good team. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty simple. You're yeah, right. We got a good team, and like, yeah, good team, and the, the guy, you see the guy when go to the field, play hard, like, we got like, uh, we got una meta, como que tienen una meta. They have a goal, mm. yeah, which is to goal. win it. Yeah, <laughs> we got the goal, and we go to a spring training, you know, we, that's the, the first thing we, we got, like, goal, like, mm -hmm. win the World City. Did you meet A-Rod yet? Yeah. Yeah? yeah you guys is tight? You got a good relationship? Yeah. Yeah, I meet him, I meet him, and I talked to him a little bit, too, and he gave me something good for my career, too, to talk about, like, how he playing and something positive. Algo positivo que pueda ayudarme en mi carrera. He gave him good advice, you know, positive things that could help him with, gotcha. with his yeah. career. A lot of guys from the Dominican Republic have come to Major League Baseball. What does it mean to you to be one of those guys and to see so many successful baseball players from the DR? ¿Qué significa para ti eh, de que hay tantos domin eh, jugadores dominicanos que vienen de Dominicana y tienen mucho eh, éxito aquí? Eh, ¿Cómo tú te sientes siendo parte de, de ese grupo? I mean, I'm, I'm feel super happy for that opportunity, you know, to come here, play baseball, the, you know, the, 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 como the sport where we love, mm -hmm. baseball, and for me, it's, it's awesome, you know, play here and, and play in the Major League with the Yankees, the, the team give you the, the chance to play and professional, and it's awesome for me. Where are the best Dominican spots for food here in the city? ¿Dónde están los mejores sitios de comida dominicana aquí en la ciudad? It's too many, it's too many. It's too many. Jersey or New York? Better Dominican food. Mejor comida dominicana en New Jersey o Nueva York? No, I'm not New York. Yeah? Yeah, because a lot of Dominican. Yeah, a lot of Dominican people here in New York. So if people haven't seen you play yet, and you know whether they watched you last year or haven't watched you, what type of player are you? What do you want Yankee fans to know about you, Miguel, and, and Duhar that they may not know about you? Eh, que si alguien no te ha visto jugar a ti, ¿qué tú quieres que ellos sepan de Miguel Andújar? Uh, que cuando voy al terreno lo doy todo. O sea, when, you know, when the team give me the chance to play, I'm and do the best, and do the best I can because I love the fans here in New York because the fan is slow, you know. Passionate, and yeah. Yeah, the passion, <laughs> yeah. And when you see when we play, uh, when we play, when we play, when we play, when we play, when we That the fans, you know, when they're going to play, they're always supporting. Yeah. Awesome. Here we go. Best of luck. Right. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. No All right, guys. We'll see you next time here on The Sit Down. <laughs>